A piece of glassware that you normally use for liquid liquid extraction is a separatory funnel or SEP funnel for short. We extensively covered the theory of liquid liquid extraction in this video. It's a very simple piece of glassware, but there's a correct way to handle it. So place a stopper on it. The way I normally handle it is you hold the stopper like this and the neck of the funnel and this is a very secure grip and you make sure that the stopper doesn't fall out and then you grab this way the stem of the funnel so you can actually very securely hold it and you can operate the stopcock without really moving anything the way you use it to extract two immiscible liquids is you pour both liquids into your separatory funnel We are extracting that water. This is ethyl acetate, so is it going to go on the top or on the bottom? And notice that you don't need a funnel on top of a self funnel. You can simply pour directly into it. Then you put a stopper on it. You grab it, and the first thing you do is you vent it. You want to vent it inside the hood away from people because very often it spits at you. Then you can close the stopper and you shake it. And don't be shy. Shake it and vent it very often. Shake, vent, shake, vent. Then you remove the stopper. You want to swirl it around to collect the droplets that are on the sides of the funnel and you hang it until the phase is separate. And you can now see there's a nice clear separation between the blue phase and the colorless phase on top. So at this point you want to take the bottom phase from the bottom, the top from the top. So you will drain the bottom phase from the top cock and you go down. Notice as the separation gets clearer and clearer as the taper gets narrower and narrower. And you want to stop right there before the topper layer gets into the stop cock. Then the bottom from the bottom, the top from the top. You will be left with a drop of liquid in the funnel that you throw away. And then you're ready to put it back and do your next extraction. Oftentimes you need to keep working on the top layer. So you don't really need to pour it out and pour it back in. You can just leave it in the set funnel and keep working. I hope this was helpful and I'll see you.